Good morning students and the today's topic which we are going to discuss is the objectives of measurement and evaluation from the subject assessment of learning and the unit 1. The learning objectives of today's topic are to know the objectives of measurement and evaluation means the students will be able to know that these are the objectives of measurement and evaluation to equipment with the meaning of means means they are be able to equip familiar with the meaning of mean to be familiar with the concept of median that this is the concept of the median be familiar with known taxonomy of educational objective for knowledge based school means they will be able to know that this is the known taxonomy of educational objective for knowledge based schools to understand the meaning of mode, they will be able to understand that this is the meaning of mode. Now, the first one is criterion and non-reference test. The criterion reference test itself to identify on what extent the individual performance has meet in a given criterion. For uh, example, a level of 75% score in all the time test items could be considered as a satisfactory performance mean means the criterion reference test can be used by the teacher to identify on what extent the individual performance has made in a given criteria means the performance of the individual related to a particular specific uh, criteria and how much that individual is able to meet that criteria in that particular subject or the specific subject. For example, a level of 75% in all the test items could be considered as a satisfactory performance. Means if an individual is getting 75% score in all the test items, can be considered as a satisfactory performance by that particular individual. It points out what a learner can do means the criterion test help us to know that what a learner can do, what are his abilities, not how he compares with other. Now we are not making a comparison with others, uh, uh, how he is performing or the performance of A individual is being compared with that B individual. It identifies weak and strong points in an individual performance means we are focusing only on the individual performances that these are the strength points of that particular individual and these are the weaknesses on the weaker areas on which that individual has to work. It tends to focus on sub skills that these are the sub skills which should be learned. Shorter mastery learning it could be both diagnostic and progressive in nature. Diagnostic means we able identify that these are the weaker sections or in these areas the students are facing the problems and the prognostic uh, in nature means that on the basis of the performances on the basis of the scores which they are getting in that particular test we are able to predict about that performances in other tests also now the next one is non reference test it compares a student's performance with the performance of other students in the class. When we are talking about the criterion test, we are not making any comparison with the performances of the individual. But when we are talking about the non-reference test, we are making the comparison. How one student performance is, is comparing with the performance of the st other students that is present in the class. It uses the normal curve in distributing grades of students by placing them either above or below the mean. When we are talking about the non reference test, the graphical presentation of the students' grades or the distribution of grades will be done by the non normal curve. That means that maximum number of the students are placed below or above the mean. The teacher main concern is the variability of the scores the more variable the score is the better because it can determine how individual differs from other 
the variable that is changing that is not constant the more variable this course is the better because it can determine how integer differ from the other how one integer is differ from the other then only on the basis of those differences comparison can be made between two individual or the students use percentages and standard scores we can use in the normal preference test the percentages and standard scores can be used it tend to be of average difficulty means the non preference test to be when we are preparing that it tends to be of average difficulty so that every student can easily attempt it now measurement and evaluations measures of central tendency are mean median and mode measures of variability are range quartile deviations and standard deviation point measures are related to quartile decile and percentile now first we will discuss measures of central tendency now measure of central tendency includes mean mode and median now the first one is mode the mode or inter inspectional average measure means we are measuring the mode or the inspectional average measure in the mode it is most frequent occurring score means in the mode we will be uh, able to identify that which score is occurring most frequently for example there is the score items of for students getting marks in different subjects and the marks are 10 5 6 5 4 5 6 now in the marks which score is most frequently repeated so the score which is more frequently repeated is 5 so that is the mode so it is the most frequent occurring score means that score which is most frequently occurring is called a mode it is the poorest major of central tendency means it is not the best major uh, technique when we are talking about the central tendency so what are the different advantages of mode mode is always a real value since it does not fall in zero means it is the real value since it is does not fall in the field of zero it is simple means it is easily simply calculated central tendency to approximate by observation and it can be easily calculated when we are observing means the uh, results can be uh, measured or the results can be obtained through observation only for small cases when there are small cases uh, means when we are taking a long case then uh, through major uh, through observation it is might be difficult to get the correct answer but in the small cases it we can easily get the correct mode it does not necessitate arrangements of the values means when we are calculating uh, more we do not have to arrange the values in either descending or ascending order so what are the disadvantages of central tendency mode it is not rigidly defined it is not rigidly defined and is inapplicable to irregular distribution means we cannot use apply mode in those situations where the values are irregularly distributed now what is the mode of these schools now you have to find out what is the mode of these particular schools now the schools are 75 60 78 75 76 75 and 85 81 and 75 now how to calculate the mode you have to see which score is occurring most frequent now whether 75 is occurring most we can uh, just observe it and we can find out yes 75 will be the mode as it is occurring frequently 
and the next thing is that we do not have to arrange the values into ascending order or the descending order to calculate the mode now the next is the median the scores that divides the distribution into half means central tendency mean is used when we have to divide the distribution into two equal halves it is sometimes called the counting average and sometimes mean median is also called as the counting average advantages what are the different advantages of mean it is the best measure when the distribution is irregular or squid so what we are saying that median is best use central tendency when the distribution of the values or the scores are irregular it can be located in an open ended distribution or when the data is incomplete or it can be located means the median can be located in an open ended distribution where the distribution is an open ended form or when the data is complete incomplete means when the data is not properly completed or when the data that has been collected is incomplete example 80% of cases is reported for example we have to uh, take the data from the 100 but if only 80% of cases are only from where we can able to collect the data that from that 80% also we can calculate the median easily uh, now this uh, disadvantages of median it necessitates arranging of items according to size before it can be computed now what is that arranging of items according to size it means when we have to calculate the median then we have to arrange the items the scores or the values in either ascending order or in the descending order if we will not arrange the values items and scores in either ascending or descending order then we will not able to get the correct median so for to get the correct calculated median we first have to arrange the items in a descending or ascending manner now what is the median from the given scores from the given series or values or items you have to calculate the correct median now the uh, 75 60 78 79 80 75 88 75 81 and 75 now you have to arrange for this series either in ascending order or the descending order now it can be the 60 then 75 76 and then 78 so i think the median will be 75 by 75 because that score will distribute the distribution into two equal halves means some items will be in one side and the some items will be in another side now the last one the major of central tendency is mean now what do you mean by mean the most widely used in familiar average means we also call mean as the average the most wide means that is used widely by many people and familiar and many people are familiar with the uh, mean and that they call as a as an average the most reliable means you can trust the results that you will get after calculating the mean and the most stable of all majors of central tendency and the most stable of all the majors of central tendency by the mode or median now what are the advantages of calculating mean or employing the mean the first one is it is the best measure for regular distribution means mean can be employed where 
where the best majors for regular distributions can be made. Disadvantage it is affected by extreme values, means it is the mean is most probably affected by the extreme values of scores or the distributions or the item. Now, what is the mean? Now, a series of scores has been there, and you have to calculate the mean. Now, the calculated mean 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 items or 10 scores, and now n by 2 can be the mean. Uh, the, the series are 75, 60, 78, 75, 76, 75, 88, 75, 81, and 75. And after that, the 5. Uh, means the, the score that comes at the place of 5 will be the call as mean or the average. Now, the next one is quartile. Now, what do you mean by quartile? Now, quartile, the quartile is the median is a value. When we are talking about the median as a value, which splits the series into two equal parts. Means quartile is again distributing the series into two equal parts. Similarly, there are other positional values which divide the series in a number of parts. The most common positional values beside medians are quartile that has been used. Now, point major where the distribution is divided into four equal parts. When we are talking about the median, it's divide the scores items into two equal parts. And the other uh, items, or we can say other things that are used instead of median for the equal distribution, is called the quartile. Now, in the quartile, uh, uh, the distribution is divided into four equal parts. In the quartile, the distribution of the scores, the values, has been equally divided into four equal parts. Q1, the quartile one, is n by 4, means the total values will be divided by 4 or the 25 of the distribution means we will able to find out the 25 percent of distribution when we are using the quartile n by 2 or the 50 percent of distribution means you will be able to find the 50 percent of the distribution where it is like n by 2 means that you will uh, divide the scores or the values either are the items by two. This is the same as the median of the distribution. And this QP is same, similar to the median of the distribution because in median also, the median is employed where we want to distribute the uh, items into two equal parts or the two equal distributions can be made. Now Q3, 3N by 4 or the 75% of the distribution. When we want to know where lies the 75% of the distribution of the scores, the values or the items, we can apply the Q3. And for measuring is that the Q3, you can employ this formula that is 3N upon 4. N means the number, the number of items the number of scores that are being there in the uh, question for the uh, for measuring or the calculating the quartile. Now, the next one is decides. Now, what do you mean by decide? Point major where the distribution is divided into 10 equal parts. Uh, now, where we are using that? Now, decides are using where the point major where the distribution is divided into 10 equal groups means where we are dividing the whole distribution, the whole scores into 10 equal groups means that 10 groups will be equally divide, divided among each other. Now D1 and divided by 10 means N will be the number number of distribution, number of scores, or the number of items, or the 10% of the distribution. And when we want to calculate the 10% of the total distribution, we can use the D1 
number or and uh, the total scores will be divided by the 10. We, we will get the 10% of the distribution. B2 and divided by 20 or the 20% of the distribution. And when we want to find out the 20% of the distribution, means the scores, the values, and the score uh, item numbers are there. And you have to calculate what will be the 20% of the distribution that is available and in that you can call, calculate the D2. Now the next one is D3 where the N is divided by 30 means the number are divided by 30 or the 30% of the distribution when we want to find out the 30% of the distribution we can employ n by 30 for calculating the 30% of the distribution. Now, d4 n by 40 or the 40% of the distribution, when we want to find out what will be the 40% of the distribution, it can be find out by employing the calculated uh, formula is that and divided by the 40 and represent the total number that are in the test scores or the items and that will be divided by the 40 and then we will get the d4 means the point major where the distribution is calculated on the basis of d40 mean where lies the 40 percent of the distribution now d5 and divided by or the 50% of the distribution, where lies the 50% of the distribution is called the D5 and in the same way it will measure the D6, the D7, the D8 or the D9. Now the D9 will be and divided by 90 or the 90% of the distribution means you will be able to find out where lies the 90% of the distribution. Now the next point major is the percentile. Now how the percentile is being uh, used, where it should be calculated. Point major where the distribution is divided into 100 equal groups means we have to divide uh, uh, the distribution. The distribution can be the scores, the values, the items. Point major where the distribution is divided into 100 equal groups means we are dividing the distributions into 100 equal groups means the distribution will be done in such a way that every group has equal value now the first one is p1 if we want to calculate the p1 it uh, can be calculated in the way and divided by one or the one percentage of the distribution where we want to find the first percentage of the distribution where it is like p10 and divided by 10 means the number will be divided by 10 or the 10 percentage of the distribution where lies the 10 percentage of the distribution means uh, there are uh, 100 scores and where lies the 10% of the distribution from that 100 scores. P25, if you want to calculate the percentile at the uh, point major of 25, you can calculate by n divided by 25 or the 25% of the distribution. You can find out the 25 of the distribution, where lies that 25% of the distribution. P50 and divided by 50 or the 50% of the distribution. Where lies the 50% of the distribution? It can be uh, calculated by measuring the percentile, the point major, where the distribution is of 50%. And it can be calculated by N number divided by 50. The number will N will be the total number of distribution or the scores, the items, it can be anything. Now, 
P90 and divided by 90 means the number is divided by 90 or the 90% of the distribution of you can find out that this is the point where the 90% of the distribution is there. P95 and divided by 99 or the 99% of the distribution. Here lies the 99% of the distribution. And that is the point major where the distribution is divided. Now, majors of variability or scatter. Now, these can be the majors of variability or the scatter. The two techniques can be used. The first one is range. Range equals to higher score minus lower score. Means how you find, how you can calculate the range. Now, the range can be calculated when the higher score or uh, it will be subtracted from the lower score. Now, what will be the higher score? For example, in the class interval, the class interval starts from 90 to 80. Now, what will be the highest range? The highest range will be the 90. And which will be the lowest score? The lowest score will be the 80. Now, you have to subtract the low, highest score from the lowest score. Then you will get the range. Now, quartile deviation. Uh, quartile deviation can be uh, clear by that a uh, half Q3 minus Q1. When we are making that, we first we have to find out what is Q3. Then we have to find out the Q1. And then we have to make, uh, place the values of Q3 and Q1 in the formula. And then only we will be able to find the quartile deviation. It is known as semi interquartile range and that is also known as inter semi interquartile range it is often paired with median when we are talking about the quartile it is often paired with the median or it is can be called as similar as median in the median also we divide the or we distribute the range into two parts in the same way in the quartile also the semi interquartile ranges has been uh, have to be calculated and that's why they have been called as a semi quartile uh, ranges also now majors of variability or scatter the first one is standard deviation now what do you mean by standard deviation it is the most important and best major of variability of test scores. Now, what we are saying that the standard deviation is the most important, the best way or the most important technique or that the widely used technique to measure of variability is standard deviation. It is the most important, necessary, important and best major and through the through the use of standard deviation, best measures of variability can be used of test scores. If you want to find out the variations in the test score, the standard deviation can be easily employed. And this is the best method. A small standard deviation means that the group has small variability or relatively homogeneous. Now, small standard deviation means when the deviation of comes and then a smaller value means the deviations of value is very small means that the group has small variability then we will say that that group has a small variability or relatively that values are homogeneous it is used with me means if we want to calculate the standard deviation first of all we have to find out the mean of that particular scores values or item mean the standard deviation is used with the mean now this is the example the class limits are 45 to 47 42 to 44 39 to 41 36 to 38 33 to 35 30 to 32 27 to 29 24 26, 21 to 23, 18 to 20, 15 to 17, 
10, 20, 12 to 14. And these are the total class intervals. Midpoints, now we have to find out the midpoints. Now, midpoint will be the midpoint of the class interval. Uh, that will be between 45 to 7, 47. Now, what will be the midpoint? Of that class interval, it will be 46, 42 to 44, 43, 39 to 41, 40, 36 to 38, the midpoint will be 37, uh, 33 to 35, the midpoint will be 34, 30 to 32, the midpoint will be 31, 27 to 29, the midpoint will be 28, 24 to 26, the midpoint will be the 25, 21 to 23, the midpoint will be 22, the mid value. 18 to 20, the mid value will be 19. 15 to 17, the mid value will be 16. 12 to 14, the mid value will be 13. And these are the frequencies. Now, the frequencies are for the class interval 45 to 47, the frequency of that is 2. Now, 42 to 44, the frequency is 3. 39 to 41, the frequency is 1. 36 to 38, the frequency is 22. 33 to 35, the frequency is 4. 30 to 32, the frequency is 4. 27 to 29, the frequency is 1. 24 to 26, the frequency is 3. 21 to 23, the frequency is 2. 18 to 20, the frequency is 3. 15 to 17, the frequency is 4. 12 to 14, the frequency is 1. And the total of the frequency is 30. Now, uh, the FM means frequency into midpoint. What will be the logo? That will be that. Uh, then, what will be the cumulative frequency? The cumulative frequency is that the totaling of it should be 30. We will start with uh, in the end, from the end, that the frequency of the last is 1. Then it will be added with the upper frequency. That is 1 plus 4 equals to 5. Then that frequency 5 will be added to the next frequency level. That is the class interval from 18 to 20. And that is 3 means 5 plus 3 equals to 8. Means the cumulative frequency of class interval from 18 to 20 is 8. Then that 8 will be added to 2 and you will get 10. And that 10 plus 3 equals to 13. And that 13 plus 1 equals to 14. And that 14 plus 4 equals to 18. And that 18 plus 4 equals to 22. And 22 is further added with the 2, the frequency of the class interval, 36 to 38. And you will get the 24. And 24 will be added to the class interval of 39 and 41. And that will become 25. And then 25 will be added to the class interval of 42 to 44 means plus 3, 25 plus 3 equals to 28 and that 28 will be added to the first class interval that is 45 to 47 and plus 2 it becomes 30 and that is the cumulative frequency, the way of calculating the cumulative frequency. Now the mean can be calculated in this way, mean equals to summation F1 upon F. Now we have to move to the previous slide. Now what is F? We have calculated the F. The frequency has been given. Now what will be the FM? The FM will be the uh, first thing is what? Sum uh, sign of summation means you have to make an addition. Now what you have to make? You have to add the series that are in the FM. And after adding that, you will able to get the summation FM. And that summation FM will be divided by the frequency and the frequency is the uh, summation f means the total of the frequency and the total of the frequency is 30. Now summation fm equals to total of the product of the frequency and midpoint. Now the multiplication of what the frequency and the midpoint. Now summation f is the total of the 
the frequency means the total of the frequency uh, in, the, uh, in the example it is 30. Now mode. Lower limit plus C oblique 2 in the bracket it was mentioned F1 minus F2 and that is divided by 2 F0 minus F2 minus F1. Now first we have to find out what is LM0 means the modal class lower limit of the modal class what is the lower limit first is the lower limit means for example it will be uh, uh, in that uh, class interval 45 to 47 of it, which will be the lower limit the lower limit will be 45 and the upper limit will be 47 now you have to find out in more the lower limit of the modal class now which will be the modal class where the maximum frequency will lie now in which in this example where lies the maximum frequencies now the maximum frequencies lies in four means uh, between 32 to 35 and 30 to 32 now you have to select either of these modal class class interval means c upon upon two means the class interval the class between the range the upper range and the lower range the difference between them will be divided by two now f1 frequency of class after modal class means you have selected for example you have selected uh, this 30 to 32 as the modal class and the frequency after the modal class will be 1. Now, frequency of the class before modal class means above that. It can be the 4. Uh, F0 frequency of modal class means if we have selected 32, 32 as the modal class, then the frequency will be 4. And in that way, you can calculate the mode value of the given items or the scopes. Now, objective. Uh, Practice based on improvement, importance, performance standards, and data driven needs. Use data teams and action research to prioritize focus of your change or improvement efforts. Means you can make an improvement or make a change. Share effective strategies for instruction. You can share that these are the effective strategies or the techniques for imparting the instructions. Create formative majors means the majors to evaluate. Monitor results means you can monitor the performances. Loom taxonomy of educational objectives for knowledge based goal. Knowledge recall or recognition of items means you have to recall or recognize the items ideas procedure theories etc when is the first day of spring means you are recalling that information when is the first day of spring comprehension means it will show your understanding translate you will able to translate that particular content interpret it that particular content you can interpret in your own words, but not see full implications or transfer to other situation closer to literal translation. What does the summer solitaires represent? Now you have to interpret what it represents. Now the next one is application. Means how you will apply that knowledge. Apply abstractions, journal principles or methods to specific concrete situation how you are applying the learning or the knowledge to the concrete situations what would earth seasons be like if its orbit was perfectly circular now you have to apply the theoretical knowledge to get the answer of that particular question now analysis in the analysis you have to uh, distribute or divide the complex ideas into small parts separation of complex ideas into its constituent parts and an understanding of organization and relationship between the parts and you will be able to find out 
what is the understanding between the organization relationship different relationship between the different parts it's include realizing the distinction between hypothesis and facts as well as between relevant and extraneous variables what are the different variables how they are affecting the teaching learning process why are season reverse in the southern hemisphere now you have to analyze this uh, uh, content first you will divide the content the complex content into different constituent parts and then you will be able to get the answer synthesis means now you will form complex ideas into a new integrated and a meaningful pattern creative you have to be creative mental construction you will construct your own knowledge of ideas and concept for multiple sources means you will able to construct the ideas the knowledge from the multiple sources to form complex ideas and you will able to form a complex ideas on the basis of all the information into a new a new will new theory or the new practical will be there new principle will be there integrated you will integrate two principles or theories are meaningful pattern subjects to give constraint if the longest day of the year is in june why is in the northern hemisphere hottest in august now you have to be creative you have to be mentally construct the ideas the concept and then only you will be able to say that you have synthesized this particular concept evaluation means you have to make a evaluation of whether you will be able to learn that objectives or fulfill that objectives or not to make a judgment of ideas or methods using external evidence or self selected criteria sustained by observation or informed realizations what would be the important variable for predicting season on a newly discovered planet planet now bloom taxonomy of educational objective for skill based goal now what are the skill based goal level of experience description of level and examples of measurable student outcome the first one is perception how you are perceiving things use sensory cues to guide actions the sensory organs means the sensory organ eyes hair uh, ear all these the skin are helping you to guide your action some of the color sample you see will new uh, dilution before you take their spectra using only observation how will you decide which solution might need to be deliberate now this is through the perception through the preserve uh, through the senses which you are getting the information now the level of expertise is set demonstrate a readiness to take action to perform the task or objective Describe how you would go about taking the absorbance spectra of a sample of pigments. Now, Bloom taxonomy of educational objective for effective goals: level of experience, description of level, example of measurable student outcome. The first one is receiving. How you are receiving this? Demonstrate a willingness to participate in the activity. Whether you are willingly act. participating in that particular activity when i am in a class i am attentive to the instructor take notes etc i do not read the newspaper instead means willingly he is attentive to the uh, what the instructor is say responding how you will respond show interest in the objects phenomena or activity by seeking it out or pursuing it for pleasure i complete my homework and participate in class discussions value internalize an appreciation for values the objective phenomena or activity i seek out information in popular media related to my class organization begins to compare different values and resolves conflict between them to form an internally consistent system of values some of the ideas i have learned in my class Different from my previous beliefs. How do I resolve this? Now, characterization by a value or value complex. Adapt a long-term value system that is permissive, 
consistent and predictable how you will able to predict that i have decided to make my family on a vacation to visit some of the places i learned about in my class now what you are doing you are uh, predicting that you will take your family to that particular places where what you have learned in your class now level of expertise guided response no steps required to complete the task of objective determine the density of a work of sample metals with regular and irregular shapes mechanism perform tasks or objective in a somewhat confident proficient and habitual manner using the procedure described below determine the quantity to offer in your unknown own reports its mean value and standard deviation complex overt responses perform tasks or objective in a confident proficient and habitual manner use irritation to determine the car for a unknown weak acid adaptation how you will adapt to the knowledge a perform task or objectives as a purpose can also modify actions to account for a new or problematic situations you are performing iterations or a series of unknown assets and find a variety of problems with the resulting curves example only 3.0 ml of base is required for one acid while 75.0 ml is required in another what can you do to get valid data for all the unknown assets now organization how will you will organize all these information create new tasks or objectives incorporating learned ones recall your plating and if the attaching experiences with an alumni substrate choose a different metal substrate and design a process to plate mask and edge so that a pattern of four different metals are created level of experience receiving demonstrate a willingness to participate in the activity where i am in class i am attempting to take note sector i do not need the paper is uh, instant responding show interest in the object phenomena or activity by seeking it or pursuing it pleasure i completed my work and participate in class discussion valuing internalize an appreciation for valuing the objective phenomena or activity i seek out information in popular media related to my class organization began to compare different values and resolve conflict between them to form an internally consistent system of values some of the ideas i have learned in my class differ from my previous beliefs how do i resolve this and a uh, characterization by a value for a very complex adopts a long term system that i perceive consistent and predictable i have decided to take my family on a vacation to visit some of the places i have heard, heard about in my class these are the proof taxonomy of educational objective for the effective domain now today we have narrated that these are the objective central tendencies mean mode median uh, range standard deviation for further reading on these topic you can refer these references now let us discuss some abstractions now the first one is separation of a complex idea into its constituent parts and an understanding of organization and relationship between the parts is related with now which with whom it is related now you have to select the correct answer from the given choices and the options are a certain b knowledge c analysis and the d content now the students you have to select the correct answer on the basis of the given choices now the correct answer is option c that is through analysis that has been made now the second one creative mental construction of idea means you have, as a student as a learner you have to be creative mental construction of idea means the construction of a particular idea and concept for multiple sources means construction of ideas and concept that had been formed in the mental process is through the use of the multiple resources that are available to form complex ideas and with that you are able to form a complex idea into a new integrated and meaningful pattern subject to give constraint is related with 
Now the options are A, analysis, B, creativity, C, synthesis, or the D, it's explanation. So the correct answer is, yes students, what was the correct answer? Now the correct answer is option C. Yes, the option C and that is synthesis. Now, uh, the third one, to make a judgment of ideas or matter using external evidence means to come to a decision to take a, to make a judgment related to an idea or matter you using external devices or self-selected criteria or the self-selected criteria that has been used by you sustained by observation you have made continuous observation or informed rationalization is related with now the options are a perception b analysis c evaluation or the d it's synthesis now yes the student what will be the correct answer and the correct answer is option c that is evaluation now perception is related with which now with which the perception is related no taxonomy of educational objective now you have to give the answers according to the Bloom taxonomy of educational objective. Options are A, analysis, B, skill-based goals, C, evaluation, or the D, synthesis. Now, the students, you have to select the correct answer, and these are the choices. Now, the correct answer is, yes, the correct answer is option B, very good. And the answer is skill-based goals. Now the fifth one, dash, serves to identify on what extent the individual performance has made in a given criteria. Now which is that? Which is being used to find out what extent the individual performance has made in a given criteria. Now these are the options. A, criterion reference test. B, validity. C, reliability or the D1, it's evaluation. Now, yes, what will be the correct answer, students? Yes, what will be the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer will be option A, that is criterion reference test. Now, the sixth one, dash identify weak and strong points in an individual performance. Now, what test is being used to identify that these are the strong points of an individual in his performance and these are the weaker points of an individual in his performance now the options are a criterion reference test option b test c validity or the d quiz now you have to select the correct answer and the correct answer is yes the correct answer is option a that is criterion reference tests are being used identify the weaker and strong points in an individual performances now seventh one dash compares a student's performance with the student performance of other students in the class with which we are making a comparison between a student's performance with the performance of other student that is present in the class now the options are a measurement b non-reference test c evaluation or the d criterion test yes students now you have to make the correct choice and the correct answer is option b that is non-reference test means with the help of non-reference test we are able to make a comparison between a student's performance with the performance of other students present in the class now the eighth one, dash uses the normal curve in distributing grades of students by placing them either above or below the mean. Means which test uh, using the normal curve in distributing the grades of students by placing either above or below the mean or we can say above or below the average. Now you have to select the correct answer on the basis of the choices. Now the options are A, test, B, norm reference test, C, it's a written test, 
or the D, it's an assessment. Assessment. Now, yes, what will be the correct answer? Yes, students, what will be the correct answer? The correct answer will be option B, that is norm reference tests are uh, used the normal curve in distributing grades of students by placing either above or below the mean. Now the ninth one. Dash is more frequently occurring score. Now, which has which central tendency will be used by you to calculate the most frequently occurring scores? Now the options are A, mean, whether you will use mean, B, mode, whether you will use mode, C, median, whether it will be median, or the D, test, whether it is a test. So, you have to select the correct answer on the basis of the choices and the correct answer is, yes, the correct answer is mode. Very good. Now, the correct answer is option B. Mode means mode has been most frequently occurring score to calculate uh, that we need mode. Now the 10th one, the scores that divides the distribution into half is called as means the central tendency technique which is used to divide the distribution or the scores into two equal parts and the uh, options are A, mean, B, mode, C, median or the D, it's test. So the correct answer is median means the option C that is median has been used to distribute the scores, the items into two equal parts. Now, thank you students. Today, with today's topic, we have narrated you the different central tendencies, the use of me, the advantages and the disadvantages of me, the median, where you have to use the median, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using median, then more, then we have talked about the percentile, the decile, the quartile. Then we have talked about the range, standard deviation, and the standard deviation should uh, is used with the mean. And then we have talked about the objectives, different objectives that has been framed. Uh, the uh, Bloom taxonomy, uh, how the Bloom taxonomy, uh, the objective should be framed uh, with keeping in mind all the domains, the effective psychomotor and the cognitive domain of the group taxonomy thank you so much thank you for your patience listening